drop what you're doing and get ready to screenshot or save this because here is a list of my spring wardrobe staples. Starting with a trench coat, this is such a multifunctional wardrobe staple. It works with everything from workwear to <laughs> sweatsuits. Make sure you pick one up that hits you below the knee. Next up is a tailored, relaxed fitting trouser, also in a lighter, neutral color. The white tank top is going to be the perfect layering piece to go with all your spring and summer wardrobe essentials. A fresh, low line white sneaker is going to be a must have for spring and summer. Maxi skirts are a really fun new shape to play around with. An oversized button up is a spin on the classic button up, and this is going to be really fun and make your outfits look very, very effortless. Next, a bomber jacket is going to be a great transitional piece to take you on those chillier spring days. Elevate an outfit of essentials, like a pair of jeans with a ballet flat, similar to Blazers and button-up shirts, denim jackets are also getting a lot boxier, and it's a great way to update any outfit. Take your look from corporate to absolute effortless casual with a simple ball cap with minimal or no logo. Let me know in the comments which piece you want broken down in more detail first. Seven of the hottest spring fashion trends for 2023. Let's get into it. Now, some of these trends are really not gonna last and some of them really will. So you're gonna wanna stick around. Number one, the long leather trench coat. Specifically in black now, this is not something new. There are many people that wear this and this is their aesthetic. But in terms of what's hot and trending in fashion, this is becoming a lot more mainstream, especially when you start seeing, you know, a lot of the TikTok girlies wearing it and you see 10 variations on Zara, that's when you know it's kind of become a mainstream trend. It is very hot. It will continue for a couple seasons more, but I don't think you should spend a fortune on the leather version and I also don't think you should spend anything on the plastic fast fashion version. If you love it and it's worth it for you, then definitely you should get it. Number two, we have denim on denim, specifically denim suits, oversized denim blazers with matching denim pants and just generally denim, lots of denim, denim on denim. In this photo, a good transition to number three, which is floral appliques, just like flower details on everything. This is something I first saw with Magda Boutram. This is kind of like her aesthetic for the last few seasons and I feel like it's becoming more mainstream. I don't think that this is going to last that long, so I really don't think you should spend so much money on a leather flower choker by Saint Laurent because this is kind of more like a fad. I really don't think this is gonna carry over for many more seasons. I think at the end of the day, and I say this with everything, if you love something, you should rock it, whether it's in style or not. But if you wanna be on trend and you kinda of like what's happening right now, and you like to be current, this does seem like it will date by the next season. Number four, more low key, quiet, inconspicuous fashion, which I did touch on a couple videos ago. This is going to be a big trend now and going forward. This has been going on already. It's going to continue going on more and more. I think people will be less inclined to wear big in your face logos like the Alexander Michele era of Gucci and kind of be more subdued, more quiet with their fashion. The rich, still rich, still spending money more on brands like Cuccinelli, Laura Piana. I just think in general, people's aesthetics, whether it's no brand or name brand is going to be more understated in conspicuous fashion. Number five, big bags, bigger bags, really big bags, which I've been talking about for at least a couple seasons already. And I said they're coming back, they're pretty much back, but still kind of trickling along, not quite super mainstream, but you will see more and more big bags going forward, spring 2023, onto fall, winter, and onto the next season and season after that, because this is going to be a lasting trend. You guys know I'm Olsen twin era for life, so I am so into this. Cargo pants, very much still a thing, so I don't even wanna talk about it that much, but I will say cargo shorts, Bermuda cargo shorts, very hot trend coming through, but this is really not gonna work for everyone. I know sometimes you guys don't like to hear it, but someone like me who's 5'3", I could never wear this trend because this really is made for the tall girlies. I'm so sorry. Love it though. Cargo pants though, we love those for everybody and you're gonna see so many variations of cargo pants in different ways, vibrant colors, denim of course, silky satins, different fabrics, just like a good, very wearable trend. And number seven, long, loose, pleated, 
cuddled slacks. I love this trend, very kind of androgynous for the girlies, kind of gender neutral. Great trend for everybody across the board. It's a cool different take on like a casual baggy denim. It's just a little more elevated, still very casual, can dress it up, can dress it down. Will last a few seasons, love this trend so much. That's it for today, my children. Make sure you follow because I do videos like this all the time and hit me up on Instagram because that's where I could be found in case, you know, I love you kids.